Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Lizzie and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cute crochet plant hanger. You can use any size yarn that you would like and the corresponding hook size to your yarn, whatever you're most comfortable with. And you can also make this in any size that you would like. These two plant hangers were made using 6 inch hoops, metal hoops. And this one was made with 4 inch hoops. So you can use any size hoops you like. So yeah, let's get into it. The materials. You will need 2 metal hoops, a crochet hook, yarn of your choice, a darning needle, some stitch markers, beads of your choice, optional, and a keychain ring. I'm using these metal hoops that I got from a craft store. You could probably find them at any craft store near you. And mine is about six inches, but honestly, you can use any size because I figured out how to create this for any size hoop yeah so you can use any yarn of your choice i'm using this thrifted yarn i think it's cotton and a uh, acrylic mix maybe just a guess so i'm going to be using this and a three millimeter crochet hook so let's get into it okay so at the beginning we're going to make a slip knot to make a slip knot you're going to take your yarn wrap it around your finger like this into an X shape hold it at the back here now push your hook under this loop and then grab this one and now take your finger out and pull yeah so that's your slip knot and now we're gonna take our hook and we're gonna start making single crochets around this just like this so you hold your your yarn like you normally would go under make your first single crochet just like that and you continue making single crochets but what we have to keep in mind is we want to make sure that our total number of single crochets on this row all the way around it must be a multiple of 10. So I'm going to single crochet all the way around, just like how I was doing before, just like this. Single crochet. Continue single crocheting. And you can count your stitches. Make sure it's like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 stitches. Those are examples of multiples of 10. So I'm going to keep making single crochets around my hoop until it's filled and you no longer could see in between the ring. So we're going to crochet all the way around until we reach the end. And make sure you count your stitches and I'll meet you back. Okay, so I've reached back around and I made a total of 140 stitches. So that's a total of 140 single crochets all around until I reach the end. And from here, I slip stitch into the very first stitch, which is this one, just like this. Real tight. And now we're going to make the kind of X shaped stitches. So from your slip stitch, you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. This counts as a treble crochet. Now you're going to treble crochet into the same stitch. Now you're going to chain one. Now you're going to skip nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And go into the tenth stitch with a treble crochet. Three. Now 
now we're going to chain four one two three four and now we're going to slip stitch into the same stitch this one chain four again one two three four now we're going to treble crochet into the same stitch Now chain one, skip nine stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and go into the tenth. Make a treble crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Slip stitch into the same stitch, chain four again one, two, three, four. Treble crochet into the same stitch, chain one. And then treble crochet into the tenth stitch. So count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Treble crochet into the tenth. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch into the same stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, four, treble crochet into the same stitch. And chain one. All right. So we continue just like this, repeating those steps all the way around until we reach back here and i'll meet you back once we reach back to the end okay so i reached i reached the very end of the row and i left out the last stitches so you can see what i'm doing so i just did my last chain so now we're gonna skip 10 stitches skip nine stitches sorry and we're gonna go into the last stitch so skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we reach back to the beginning. So we work into the very first stitch that we made and make a treble crochet. Now we make another treble crochet into the same stitch. okay so that's the end of the second row because the first row would be the single crochet row and the second row we just finished so now what we're going to do is turn our work like this and then slip stitch into the previous treble crochet that we just made and then slip stitch again into the chain stitch Now we turn back our work around. Now we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to make a treble crochet into that same chain stitch. Now we chain one. Now we're going to treble crochet into the next chain stitch, which is this one here. Now 
now we're going to chain four one. now we slip stitch into that same chain chain four now make a treble crochet into that same stitch and chain one now we're going to make a treble crochet into the next chain stitch which is this one right here now we're going to chain four one two three four slip stitch into the same chain chain four one two three four treble crochet into the same chain now chain one so this is what your work should look like so far and you continue just like that all the way around until you reach back here and I'll meet you back once I reach on this last stitch okay so this is where I've reached and I just finished my last chain one and now I'm gonna make my last treble crochet into this stitch from the beginning of the row of the round so I make my last treble crochet and a second one just like that so now I'm gonna turn it around slip stitch into the treble crochet you just made and slip stitch into the chain stitch turn it back around we grab our next hoop make sure the back side is the wrong side is on the inside so I'm working this way so I'm gonna I chain one already and now I'm gonna go into that same stitch the chain one stitch go into there and hold up your hoop to start to make a single crochet Ooh, kind of hard now we make nine single crochets one and nine and the tenth single crochet you make sure to go into that chain next chain one stitch and make the tenth single crochet just like this so I'm kind of holding it like this while I crochet around make nine single crochets around the hoop and nine after nine we make the tenth into the next chain one stitch tenth single crochet and we continue just like this all the way around until we completely cover this hoop and catch these stitches all around so i'll meet you back once i reach the very end and you make nine single crochets then the tenth one you connect it to the chain one stitch okay okay so i reach back around i just finished single crocheting all around my hoop and I reach here and at the very end we slip stitch into the first single crochet we made at the beginning this one just like that don't cut your yarn yet because we're gonna close up this area at the bottom because this will be the bottom part and this would be the opening so now we're gonna chain eight one two three four five six seven eight 
now we're gonna single crochet into that the stitch right above this chain one on top of this stitch so a single crocheting on that single crochet we're gonna chain eight again single crochet on top of this chain one on top of this chain stitch into that single crochet single crochet and continue chaining eight and single crochet eight now single crochet on top of that chain and single crochet into that stitch and we continue just like this all the way around until we reach back to the end and i'll meet you back okay okay so i reached back to the beginning i did my chain eights and single crochets all the way around until i reached the end i left this one out and now we're gonna chain four one two three and four now we're going to make a treble crochet into that first stitch around here just like that so it acts like the chain eight okay so now we're going to chain one and single crochet around that stitch around this chain eight just like that and now we're going to chain four one two three four single crochet into this chain eight space so make sure your tension is a little tighter than usual because we're going to close it off in the middle here you know to make a base for your plant to sit on so now chain four and single crochet into the next chain eight space chain four single crochet into the next chain eight space and we continue just like this all the way around until we reached the very end and I'll meet you back Okay, so we reach back to the beginning. I went all the way around with my chain fours and single crochet. So now we're gonna chain two to close off this last stitch. Chain two and then double crochet into that first single crochet from the beginning of this round. Just like that, yeah? Now we're gonna make, hmm, what can we make? Because we still have to close this off. Let's make a chain four again. Yeah, we could do a chain four again. So chain one and single crochet into that space. Now chain four, single crochet into the next chain four space in the middle chain four single crochet into the next chain four space just like this and continue just like this all the way around until you reach the beginning again and i'll meet you back okay so we reach back and this is what we have so far we're going to chain two we're going to chain two and make a double crochet into that single crochet from the beginning of the row okay so from here i'm going to want you to take the corners of your work like this and kind of pull it together to see how much space it has here I pull the opposite sides together to see how much space we have left, you know? 
because we want this to be tight and we're going to close this off so let's go with uh let's do chain three this time so chain one and make a single crochet now chain three single crochet into the next chain four space chain three single crochet into the next chain four space and we continue just like this all the way around until we reach the beginning of the row chain three and single crochet into the next chain four space and i'll meet you back okay so i reach back to the end so i'm gonna make a chain two to close this off and a single crochet into the single crochet from the beginning Now I'm going to chain one and single crochet into the same space. And now take a look at the work and see if these meet. Oh yes, they can meet once you pull them together. So we're going to single crochet into each one of these chain three spaces. Just like this. So I just did my first single crochet. Now go into the next space, single crochet. And into the next no chains this time because it could meet once I pull these together yeah so single crochet all around okay where have I reached I reached here so I'm just going to skip stitch into that first single crochet from the beginning of this round just like that and now I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna go into this stitch not this one but this one and slip stitch and I'm gonna try to do this tightly slip stitch just like that now we skip this next stitch go into the next one and slip stitch tightly yeah skip this one go into the next one slip stitch tightly and then we can slip stitch into the beginning that's it now we can chain one and cut our yarn let's leave a bit of a long not too long but like leave a little bit so that we can make a tassel and tie this on to our tassel and then tighten that and that will be the base and this is your little basket for your hanger your plant to hang in and your plant will sit on this so it's not too loose so that it droops too much so you want this part to be a little, little tight if it's not tight then you can always adjust these stitches and go and do less chains if depending on your size hoop okay but make sure it's tight okay so from here we're gonna determine where our what do you call it the strap the three straps would be to hold up your plant hanger so we're gonna take three stitch markers let's take our measuring tape and measure around from your stitch marker all around the hoop okay so that's about 19 inches so let's divide 19 inches divided by 3 so 19 divided by 3 is 6.33 so that's that's around this one in the middle 6.3 so let's measure i want to move this back a little bit back to the middle here now let's measure measure 6.3 from here 6.3 so that will be right here let's place one in the middle here yep now let's measure another 6.3 6.3 somewhere around here okay now let's measure this last part to make sure it's 
that looks good so these are all even now we know where to start our strap so we're gonna take our yarn and make a slip knot just like this and we're gonna start our first one let's go into this stitch we could remove the stitch marker just so it doesn't get in the way hold your finger there and now we're going to make two single crochets two just so that this is um stable instead of having one two to me sounds like it, it's a little more secure so two single crochets into there and now we're going to chain one turn it around and into the first single crochet we're going to make a single crochet and we're going to make sure that this is very loose a very loose single crochet we don't want our single crochet to, the, to be tight so we turn our work again around and go into these loops not the single crochet itself not into this stitch here but into these loops here so this first one would be a little bit hard to see so you go into there and make a single crochet again and make sure these stitches are loose now turn your work again no chain ones and you see these two loops here one and two we're going to try to push our hook through these two loops not into these this space here but these two one and two yeah now we make another single crochet just like that and continue making these loops and keep turning your work place your hook into those same two loops sorry my finger is blocking and continue just like this single crochet turn work go into these same two loops one and two see if your work was too tight it would be harder to get into these two loops so we want to make sure that these are loose and your work would start to spin like this let it spin just so that um, it straightens out turn work go into those two loops and we continue just like this and this is called a crochet eye cord and we continue turning 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 after every stitch until we reach our desired length then we need to turn spin it and it should look like this yeah and continue just like that until we reach our desired length and i'll meet you back and you do the same thing on this side on this side and continue with the same amount of stitches okay and I'll meet you back once I'm finished okay so I just finished my three pieces and an easy way to count these stitches is by looking at these this yarn piece that is across like this so I count one two three four five six seven eight and it's easy to count them like that so yeah and make sure you left long strands at the end like this so that you have space to put your bead just like that yeah okay so you're gonna grab your bead of choice but it has to be a bead that can fit all these strands together so the hole has to be big enough to fit this yarn all together yeah Grab a needle, grab the end pieces, um, put all through your needle like that. Now pull your bead through. Another thing to take note of is just make sure that these strands are all not twisted. So just go along and check each one to make sure they're not twisted once they're in the bead right that seems to be good 
So from here, we're gonna tie a knot. I'm gonna tie another one because my bead could move out of the knot. Okay, that seems good. Now I'm gonna take this little thing. I'm gonna tie another knot. I'm just trying to make it look as neat as possible <laughs> by wrapping it around and around in random ways really okay and now it looks like this so i'm gonna tie a final knot i'm gonna cut off the ends here so it's even and then i'm gonna push these ends through my needle and now i'm gonna go through all these loops i just made Okay, I'm going to cut it right here. And that's it for the top hair. Now we're going to move on to the tassel. Okay, so to make your tassel, you will need something like this shape. I just had this remote laying around. And the length of the tassel would be this shape. It could be bigger and longer. But ideally get something like around this thin okay so you grab your yarn hold it here and then count one two three twenty you can stop here at twenty but if you want your tassel to look very full you can add more i just do a little more okay that's enough so I cut the yarn, hold that there, and now I'm going to get another piece of yarn, maybe around this length. And then we're going to take this off, slide it off. So you hold it there. Keep this loop right there. Don't lose it. Now we're going to take this yarn, push it through that loop. Hold it like that. Now we're going to make a knot. Now we're going to get another piece of yarn. Maybe twice the length as that. Like around that much. Okay, so you take your yarn. And at the top here, we're going to make a knot. Just like that. You can make two just so that it's secure. Two knots. Okay, from here, we're going to start wrapping, wrapping the yarn around. Just like this. I think that's good enough. Yeah, we don't need any more wraps than that. Wrap it until you think it looks right. If you like a little bit of wraps, you could do a little bit of wraps. If you like plenty wraps, you could do plenty wraps up to however you like it make a knot again make another knot just so it's secure okay now we take our needle string these pieces through and now we're gonna push this from where the knot is into the middle somewhere here it reached yeah and I'll push it through to hide those ends. Pull it all the way through. That's good. Now we get to trim the tassel. 
trim all these pieces with your scissors. Now we gotta make sure that all is the same length so you could kind of brush it out. Now we can use another one of these beads to match. Push your yarn through your needle. Get the bead on. Very nice. We can tie a knot here just so that it's secure. Very nice. And now at the end here, at the back of your work, you can push this yarn through the hole that you have in the middle here. Push it through just like that. And you can also push this through as well so that um, we can tie this to that. So let's tie those together into our knots. Very nice. We could tie another knot. Okay, that's not going anywhere. And now weave in all your ends. Use your darning needles to weave in all the ends and I'll meet you back.